Alright, hello and welcome. My name is Jason Welsh, and welcome to my uh, student version of a crash course for Maya for kids. And I wanted to produce a, a training session or a workshop uh, for students that are interested in 3D modeling and animation. I teach 3D modeling at a local college within my area, and I figured, you know, I, I just wanted something, you know, that I could give out to a large quantity of people. And I, I have a lot of these videos, but this video is very, very, very geared towards kids. And I want to show you, before you start these videos, on a, the workflow you should introduce to the student. Um, it's not about watching the video, but you also have to worry about the setup of the video, too, in order for them to understand. So that's what I'm going to show you here in this first introduction uh, videos at the very beginning of this. Okay, first off, all my videos are free on VO.com. Including this one, I haven't uploaded it yet, but you'll see that it's in a series all by itself. So, if you went to VO.com and did a video search for House of Tutorials, you'll find all my videos in order. So it, the, the new videos are going to be here on this, this top row. Okay, now I kind of have to show you how to download these and put them on your hard drive because it works a lot better that way for students. To watch them through VO, you know, this is this is kind of a, it, it, it's not an adult site, it's more of a, it, they allow anything on this. So there's some other videos that you might not want your children look, watching, but this is the only place I can release videos for free like this and be it justifiable with no cash on my end and still help students out. So just kind of know that. This is how you download videos from VO. Alright, so my series are going to be up here in the corner. This is my Lesson 9 uh, Mayo Part 1. I'm going to take this for an example. So this video might have four or five or six videos attached to it, all being within that series what you do here is you go to download options and say download video okay notice I have this magical box that appears here okay if you do not have this box you've never been to VO so you have to get this thing called the VO TV and then you download it it's free it's non evasive toward your system it's really cool so you know, I highly suggest you get this, and it's it's a free version. It pops up here, and you hit OK next. With that being installed, for all my videos now, you can hit that magical download option box and hit download video. Okay, so when you have the series that I have released on the internet for students on your hard drive, uh, now you can watch it using Windows Media Player and they don't have to be on the internet in order to watch them so I want to run you through that okay let's just say that you've saved all those videos to your hard drive and now I have these let's see I'll get a sample one here Sure, I'll just use this one for an example. So if I right click, open with Windows Media Player. Up pops Windows Media Player. Now here's the advantage. I'm going to hit pause for this. Here's the advantage of using Windows Media Player. Okay, the internet's great. But if the student is in Maya, look what happens. The internet is behind this window. So the student can watch this video, but he has to constantly uh, close Maya out in order to watch the video. Um, he'll get lost very quickly. Adults get lost very quickly. Students will get lost very quickly. So make sure you download the videos and play them in Windows Media Player. Now. 
in Windows Media Player, I have the option under Tools, Options, to say, keep this player on top of all windows. Okay, I can click this out, and click this out. I can now shrink this a little bit, and while I have the video, it's playing, the student can follow it and be within Maya at all times. And whenever the student gets lost, they can just hit pause on the video. Okay, just kind of know how to set the workflow up for the student ahead of time if you're using any kind of video training method. Uh, I find it, you know, it's not the the student's learning capabilities, it's the workflow anybody can learn as long as their workflow is nice. So this is just part of your workflow. Alright, so that being said and done, that whole spiel, um, I'll get on with the video and show you exactly how to get Maya for free, how to get a program called ZBrush uh, for 30 days for free, and then after that you have to keep reactivating it, um, and tell you the price on the, the software to start out for a student, and all that good stuff. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so before we do a crash course in Maya for kids, I want the adults or parents that, you know, have kids that, you know, want them to get interested in 3D to go to google.com and just type in a magical word called Maya PLE. Maya PLE. Personal Learning Edition. Aha, there we go. Okay, so just by going to the free download available now, um, s younger students can have the opportunity to learn 3D modeling and animation at a very young age without spending the $389 for the student edition of Maya. So, yeah, that's it. It's only $389 for the student edition. Like, I wish my parents bought that when I was a kid. It It is so great to get them at a younger age. So... If you don't have the $389 to spend, I highly suggest the Maya Personal Learning Edition. It functions with the full capabilities of my version. The only thing different is it has a watermark when you render it. Okay, so that's that's the only kind of uh, annoying factor about it. So definitely download that Maya Personal Learning Edition. Another thing that, you know as a person that's like trying to get kids into this if you go to pixelogic.com you'll find that pixelogic has a nice 30 day trial of their software so we're going to be kind of using it along with maya to produce the toy so you might want to download that for them now, does it take a very high-end computer? Eh, sort of, but I'm not going to get into like a billion polygons, so just kind of keep that in mind. Those are two of the essential things that you'll be needing for this, are those two. Alright, so gather your supplies, and then meet me back in Maya.